It's our party, we can do what we want. It's our party, we can do what we want. Lawrence Kohlberg was born on October 25, 1927 at Bronxville, New York in a wealthy family. He went to private school, Phillips Academy, and after high school, he volunteered as sailor in World War II. While his time as sailor, he helped Jews escape from Britain to Palestine. Kohlberg, after his duty from World War II, went to University of Chicago, where he entered university with outstanding examination score that saved him taking a lot of required classes, and he got bachelor's in psychology, psychology in just one year. Yeah, amazing, right? While finishing his graduate work, he got very impressed by children's moral reasoning. Kohlberg was so fascinated by John Piaget's work when he was still doing his bachelor's. He received his PhD in 1958 at the age of 31. Kohlberg, after creating his PhD, worked three years in Yale University but came back at the University of Chicago in 1962 as assistant, as assistant professor. He also worked at Harvard University as professor from 1968 to 1987. Kohlberg was very passionate about his work and due to his practical ability, he wanted his theory in practice. Kohlberg was really interested in the work for the best of society, so he worked in several just community projects and his big support was his co-worker from Harvard University, Carol Gilligan. She was also a big critique of his moral development theory. Kohlberg married in 1955 with Lucy Stigberg and couple had two sons. Kohlberg got a non-tropical parasite while his trip to Belize in 1971. He battled with painful symptoms and depression for a long time. And unfortunately, in 1987, after 16 years of struggle with parasite and depression, he suicided. Kohlberg is famous for his theory of moral development and divided Piaget's two, develop two stages to six stages. Interestingly, he never met any person in his life who reached to his sixth stage or called universal principle, but he assumed historical figures like Gandhi would fit into that category. Pre-conventional level is the first level of Lawrence Kohlberg's moral development theory. The child becomes aware of their family culture rules and is able to determine good from bad, but can only understand these behaviors through punishment, rewards, and exchange of favors, which they imply from the person they see as in power. The level is then divided into two stages. Stage one is the punishment and obedience orientation. The actions of the child and the consequences of the action is divided into good or bad, depending on what the action was, the child will avoid punishment and fear of being in trouble. The child understands good as anything pleasant and bad as something scary and painful. Better buckle up. I need some driving music. Michelle, come with me. You're a lot harder for him to cry in front of you. Hi, guys. How's it going? Oh, fine. Got a bang-up day. Get a car in the kitchen. 
<laughs> Michelle, you're so silly. <laughs> She's not that silly. Um, there's uh, actually something I, I would like to show you in the kitchen. Okay, I'm ready. Send him in. Oh, this is great. I love surprises. Let's see. It's not Father's Day. No. Oh, I love this. This must be one of those bonus I love dad days. I don't know. <laughs> Good face, Dad. Is everybody all right? Where's Stephanie? We're all fine. Stephanie's a dance class. Look at this house. Look at this kitchen. Look at this mess. I just waxed the floor. <laughs> Where's my best friend, Joey? Dad, let me get one more picture of you. This is a very serious matter. That's okay. You don't have to smile. <laughs> this is very sweet. Well, thanks for coming by. I'll call you later and tell you all about my boring dinner. Bye. Whose suitcase is that? Uh, well, it's, it's not what you think. Someone's in the closet, isn't there? Who's in the closet? What closet? It's McIntyre, isn't it? Uh, McIntyre, come on out. I got your business dinner right here. Jess, Jess, Jess. Just as I suspected. Nobody's in here. <laughs> Steph, what are you doing here? Hanging around. In this clip, Stephanie drives a car into the kitchen, which she obviously knows is bad. Later in the video, you see her hanging from a closet, which in the episode, she runs away to avoid being, being punished. The second stage is the instrumental orientation. The child views right actions as something that satisfies their personal needs and very little of others' needs. They view relationships as you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours, rather than basing relationships upon trust and honesty. Also in this stage, the child becomes fully aware from right and wrong. Uh, okay. As I will say, hey, oh! Somebody broke that. Okay, okay. Clearly we need to set some rules. Rule number one, you will not touch anything. Uh-huh. What about the floor? Yes, you may touch the floor. What about the air? Yes, you may touch the air. What about this? Ah! Where did you get that? Found it. Okay, rule number two, you will not bother me while I'm working. Rule number three, you will not cry or whine or laugh or giggle. Or sneeze, or burp, or fart. So no, no, no annoying sounds, right? Does this count as annoying? Very. <sighs> I will see you in six hours. This video shows a great example of you scratch my back, I'll scratch yours. Gru wants the girls to go to bed, but the girls want a bedtime story. They compromise. So Gru will read them a bedtime story and they will go to sleep as soon as the story is over. Stage 3. This stage is often called the good boy, good girl stage. The child tries to live up to the expectations of others and seek their approval. Now they become interested motives or intentions and concepts such as loyalty, trust and gratitude are understood. As you can see, Hancock is not a child, 
but he shows a perfect example how in the movie he was a like a negative negatively viewed person you know and his way to build trust was just to be loyal to people and so at this scene as you can see he tried to save this girl but he she did not allow him to and so I guess instantly he just, they just gained trust you know because she was in danger at stage four the respondent becomes more broadly concerned with society as a whole now the emphasis is on the obeying laws respecting authority and performing one's duties so that the social order is maintained Should you? You're sneaking out again, aren't you? No, Neville, listen. We would. No! I won't let you! You'll get Gryffindor into trouble again! I I I'll fight you! Neville, I'm really, really sorry about this. Petrificus Totalus! <laughs> You're a little scary sometimes. You know that. Brilliant! Scary. Let's go. Sorry, sorry. It's for your own good, you know. Hey, man. Hey, Julius. Man, crazy out here, man. Yeah, well, what did you expect? I don't know. I ain't quite expected to be like this. Ah. Sorry. Julius, this is Emma. In the previously shown clip from a member of the Titans, there were obviously some other issues present, such as racism and segregation. But those topics have everything to do with the fifth post-conventional stage, prior rights and social contracts. It focuses on an individual's ideology and personal values that are starting to form apart from the societal norms. People in this stage are typically big fans of democracy, as it was intended to be. The clip shows both Julius and Gary displaying different values than Gary's girlfriend. Both men have prior expectations that they believe others should uphold as well, because it is mandated by their government that they should do so. Sixth and final stage of Kohlberg's theory is universal moral principles, an aspect similar to self-actualization, if you will. The individual has completed all the previous stages and now upholds every one of them. Our clip representing this is obviously Jesus showing us how awesome and morally developed he is. What better example of an upstanding and moral guy can you ask for? We have now gone through the three different levels and the encompassing stages of Kohlberg's theory of moral development. I will not repeat them as we are running out of time and I will be sorely disappointed if you do not remember them by now. Just remember, whenever in doubt, all you have to do is ask, WWJD. 